All right, I want to welcome all my viewers to another Small Town USA series. Today is Thomas, West Virginia. Right, yeah, the T. Guess who's with me today? Mr. Shram. I can't do it, D. I don't know. It looks like I'm throwing yeah. up gang signs. Yeah, it does. Yeah, we, we don't really need that. We're going to get flagged on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Please don't. Yeah, we, 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 I need to. <laughs> I don't need any, like, flags there. Yeah, yeah, we are. So, so keep, you know, keep your signals to yourself. I'm... All right. <laughs> so back to where we are. We're in Thomas, West Virginia. And we are actually going to tour this small town. It is just right outside of Blackwater Falls. Mm -hmm. um, I've been here many, he has too, but I've been here many a times, like years and years ago. We used to come over, this used to be kind of like a part-time stomping ground, so to speak. Yeah, and if you're going to Blackwater Falls, it's a great stopping place. So we're going to take a look around downtown. Um, of course, it's, you know, it's raining right now, hoping it clears off, because we're hoping to get in about four waterfalls in this, in this area. About four? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, a couple other places to show you. Just give you a little background on this place. Uh, see, see some of the shops and everything. And I will say, since I've been over here, they have done a lot of renovations to the front of these buildings. Yeah, so let me get it. It used to be pretty kind of oldish and run, you know, typical old West Virginia town. It's kind of just run down, seen its heyday. They have done a lot of work in the last 15 years or so since I've been here. Well, let's get out here, take a little video here, then we'll go see the waterfalls, and then we'll come back and wrap this thing up after a while. All right, here we are in downtown Thomas, West Virginia, just giving you an overview of some of the buildings here. Yeah, we're not the we're in Thomas, West Virginia. Yeah, I know. You know what? Last time I tried to do a video here, I did the same exact thing. I called it Davis, but it is Thomas. I actually knew a guy, a good friend of mine named Tom Davis. And that's how I try to keep the name separated, but I failed miserably this time. All right, Dave, you want know those? You want know a little different about this place? What's you know, so this is a one-way street. This town actually has a one-way street in and a one-way street out of it. Yeah, and we're standing to our back to the way coming in. Exactly. We're here at the Gourmet Apple Store. I'm not joking. We have a Gourmet Apple Store. This sounds pretty cool. I wish it was open. If it was open, Dave, I would be in here trying a Gourmet Apple. Which makes sense because why else would you go into our gourmet apple store? Can you get some more overview of some more of the business businesses here? I'm gonna go up back in the background. You can see people going to businesses back here. Pretty, pretty different of it, businesses. Would you say so, Dave? Yeah. Pretty unique. Bit. Definitely unique. So, which in a town this size with the tourism stuff and everything? You really need to have the uniqueness. Show them the Ford bench. Show them the Ford bench. So yeah, the Ford bench. Um, if you are subscribed to my channel and you're a Chevy fan, you're going to have to suffer through this one. But maybe in one of the future videos, I can find something Chevy related so I can like even it out. Mm -hmm. But for now, I mean, this is... <laughs> wow. And here's what's really cool. If you get closer, or, um, like this... It actually, if you're like here, you you actually think you're looking at tailgate of a Ford. Tailgate, tailgate of a Ford. Mm -hmm. One of the things I've been getting to notice, like I talked to you about small towns, is that at one point, about half these buildings were empty. But it's looking like most of them are have some type of business in them. I'm impressed. I really am too. And some of the ones are future businesses. Um... So, I mean, it's... Yeah, I'm kind of impressed there's... Yeah. yeah. They really have done a lot over here. We're at the Purple Fiddle. This is one of the places where a lot of people knows... When they think of Thomas, they think of this place. Live music and a little bit of everything. Um, I know a few bluegrass bands that have played down here. So, I think the Davidson Brothers have played here. Some other groups. And, you know, um, you can stay here. Never ate here today, but I hear they had good food, so that's a plus. And as I said, it's um, it's it's been here forever, it seems like. As you're noticing so many small town series deals, I like to point out when they're doing something right. Right now, they're doing some of the towns, around, some of the signs around town telling you the history of the town. Pretty cool. Gives you a little background of the stuff. Uh, apparently we also have a taco shop nearby, and for Dave there, there's some plants there. 
Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah, Dave. Ooh Man, you should feel right at home. Yeah, raised nice little garden bed. Uh-huh. Huh. Okay, Dave's drooling over this right now, so cool. either, either that or it's raining one or the other. Carrots. Okay, carrots. I'm going to say lettuce. I'm not sure. It looks like a bunch of weeds. Lettuce and weeds. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Cilantro, and I'm saying, say, stra yeah, strawberries. Strawberries. There you go, right from the expert. We're just right outside of Thomas, West Virginia. And we're taking a look at just some of the stuff that you can see right outside of town. One of these little side roads. This little side road takes you to Douglas Falls. And you can see some other small waterfalls. Some other larger ones, maybe. You know, well, maybe not large ones, but decent sized ones. And this is just, you know, some of the side trips you can take while you're in this area. Yes, if you love waterfalls, this Tucker County, especially the Blackwater Falls area, obviously the Blackwater Falls, but other falls in the area, great place. Hey, go on, then fall. <laughs> You missed the slip the first one. I know. As soon as I hit that, and I was moving slow, and it whoop. Yeah, tell you what though, just a water warning. If you're coming down here and you're trying to get this view, these rocks are very, very slippery. Even where it's dry, it is yeah. slippery. Yeah, as Dave just said, even when they're dry, they're slippery. This is the top of the waterfall of our destination. Again, right outside of Thomas, West Virginia. Pretty soon I'll see you on the other side of this. Again, not a bath. I would recommend coming down to get this picture or video. But I wanted to get, let you guys see what it looks like from the top of a waterfall. All right, here we are at destination. I know this is this Douglas Falls, so we'll go with that one. Uh, absolutely beautiful. If you're trying to get to this one, it is hard to get down the hill. Worth it, but don't do it by yourself. There's a rope to help you get back up also. But the views down here are absolutely stunning. Alright, I want to give you one more view of the waterfalls. Again, this is a, this is not the we're not even this is not it's close to Blackwater Falls, but this isn't part of Blackwater Falls. This is part of some of the stuff you can see when you come down to Tucker County, come down to Thomas, West Virginia. Continue on with this tour, we are at according to this, it's the Buxton and Land Street Company. At least that's what it used to be. It is now a place to sell West Virginia items. Similar to the Tamarack, not quite as many items as they ha would have there. But it's been... I've been here just about third time in the last year and a half. This is the first time I've seen it reopen, so I'm pretty excited about that. First time I've been in here. First time Dave's been in here, so we're going to go take a look. Don't know if they're going to allow me to do any video inside, because most of all the stuff in there is made from people from West Virginia. But we'll see if I get a chance to turn the video on. I will. If I don't, I apologize ahead of time. All right, I'm just going to just doing a little bit of overview, um, just give you an idea of what's in here. So you can, so when you're in Thomas, um, come down here. As I said, it's well worth coming in here. I love coming in this place, and this just gives you an idea of some of the stuff they have. And I'll get a little closer over here, but. Yeah, come in and um, people are really nice here. Um, so come in, um, purchase some things, look around, ask questions. And actually, and there's some signs here to learn a little bit about the history of the area. So again, come in and enjoy. We just finished up the Small Town series on Thomas, West Virginia. And as David and I was talking, walking up and down the street, it's amazing how much they've done to this town. Um, as I said, I, there's been times I've been over here, 50 to 60% of the buildings have been emptied. I would say about 85 to 90% of the buildings are, have occupied this time. 
So as I said, it's a cool little, cool, yeah, cool little stop. Dave's getting ready to tell something. Which is really cool to see in these little small towns in West Virginia. Yeah, because it's what it takes to survive. It's going to be, you know, they, these are unique. I mean, yeah, yeah, you have your antique shops. Your shops. You're going to have your, um, as we said, the Apple place. It's not the Apple computer place. The Apple <laughs> apples. Um, so you, to survive in towns like this, you got to have a niche. You're not going to have your major grocery stores. You're not going to have your fast food restaurant. The Purple Fiddle, Bed and Breakfast, Entertainment, they've been doing it for years and they've been surviving here. And hopefully next time I'm through here, I'll get to see some of these businesses still surviving. So again, thank you for coming along. Appreciate it. Whoops, got my hand up there. I don't, oh, okay, okay. Maybe my editor will take Keep my hand out, out, of, out of the picture. Maybe my editor will take my hand out of the picture. Editor is going to yell. Yeah, oh well. I got the keys. I'm driving. So, again, I want to say thank you for subscribing. If you are a subscriber, please go ahead and subscribe. Also, if you like the video, thumbs up, comment if you can. And also, hit that bell button because you need to be notified next time I upload a video. So, again, thank you for coming along. And thank you again, Dave, for being along on this trip. This has been pretty cool. Got to hang out, got to make some jokes, got to throw stuff at each other. Uh, non-lethal weapons and actually you know I had, had a fun trip looking forward to doing some more collaborations with them so again we will see you next time on the next video